Anakin's gone. I am more than me. I don't like short people. You don't like short people? But if men can't change their height, and you judge based on height, then I'm gonna judge you based on something you can change, which is your waist size. So we're gonna measure your waist. You're not gonna measure my waist. It's a double standard, and I'm trying to prove that. I'm much older than you, and I'm a tiny bit smarter than you, or maybe a lot bit smarter than you. But... I doubt it. You're a woman. Wow. She tries to use age as evidence that she has sense. It does not make sense because you can be old and stupid and you can be young and wise. And this is something that age is just a number to be honest. Age does not define maturity or intellectual capability. So I got served today at the pharmacy. And uh, I'm not saying men can't look like this because please go off kings. But like, I'm not doing damage to masculinity. I think y'all are when you serve me, when you call me a man, right? Like, I'm not a man. Don't consider me for the pool of men. And maybe the people who are like, oh, masculinity is in decline. Well, stop thinking I'm doing anything with it. I'm not part of that equation. <laughs> Count me out. I believe you want to be a woman, you can turn to a woman, like, cut the beard off, look like a woman. Don't come here and try to deceive yourself or deceive other people because you look like a man and you look like a woman. Like, pick one side, bro. Have you ever gone to a salon to dye your armpit and eyebrow hair? Well, if you haven't, now's your chance. This Pride Month, Billy is hosting a complimentary That means free! Hair Affirmation Station at Happy Place Studio in New York City where you can get your body hair styled and dyed. For me, expressing myself through my hair is such an important part of feeling confident in my appearance as a queer person. Not only does dyeing my hair make me feel empowered, it helps affirm my gender identity too. Dyeing our hair together has always been a bonding experience, and having this opportunity at a salon instead of at home has just been really exciting and fun. The Hair Affirmation Station is open on June 26th and June 27th. Did you know that queer and trans people actually experience time completely differently to cishet people? It's a concept called queer temporality, and it basically has to do with the fact that historically, as queer and trans people, our lives have started much later, and for a whole bunch of reasons, ended earlier than our cishet counterparts. So as a result, our experience of time is compressed. It also has to do with the fact that those milestones that we've been socialized to use to mark the passage of time, so things like marriage or having a children or, you know, working, retiring, inheritance, things like that, haven't been accessible to us. And that linear timeline has a name, heterochronology. And as queer and trans people, our experience of time often sits outside that. Basically, it's super interesting, and I'm going to be unpacking it more this week on the podcast. So listen in uh, wherever you like to do that. I feel sad for her, to be honest. Like, this is heartbreaking for you to see someone that actually thinks this way. Would you date someone if they went by they, them pronouns? What? The hell, f Why not? A fold, but I ain't going to say what fold. During Pride Month is crazy. Damn. Girl, what? It's Juneteenth. Girl, this Black History Month. Don't tell me. Now you see her? This is Juneteenth. This Black History Month. And here she go. She's trying to put the black leg. <laughs> but both of them are not serious. Like, both of them trying to claim PT from people. Like, nah. Like, there's nothing like that, bro. Yesterday I was supposed to hang out with this guy, but it was getting kind of late. So I texted him and I was like, hey, it's kind of late. Like, maybe we should just, like, rain check. Okay, rain check. No big deal, right? And he responded saying, okay, sounds good. Sounds good, but I'm sure this is not the end of the story. Excuse me? And here it comes. And I was like, what, LOL? And he's like, you propose to reschedule, like it's a bit late for you, said I was like respecting your boundaries and like, yeah, we can meet up another time. Wonderful, a guy is respecting her boundaries, but there's more. And I was like, you think you're funny? You're supposed to respond saying, no, I need to see you. I'm outside. Your doorman's blocking the door. Like, what? Oh, I get it now. There's games apparently to be played. And one seems upset that the guy is not playing along. He was like, wait, why are you mad that I was just like listening and like respecting what you wanted? And I was like, exactly, exactly. Exactly what? Respecting boundaries is apparently a bad thing now. I'm beginning to believe that some women are single-handedly trying to convince the entire male population that in fact they are better off single. Because if you want to play games, ladies, play by yourself. What do women want? Like, obviously, if I see that kind of message, like, it's obviously don't go out. And you want me to beg you to go out. Like, 
see sometimes women feel like they are deprived i understand but like see when you meet a man that ha- that knows his self-worth bro he's not stressing about rubbish like we not i've been railed by 300 people in six months 300 if you don't know my goal for this year was 365 people in 365 days and i have done 300 in six months your girl has also been railed in 11 different countries this year which is also wild so technically i can make the 600 i was gonna do 600 in 2025 but i think we can do it this year so we are a little bit behind because it's actually mid-june right now but I've got it. I've got it in me. It's all good. You just wait. I'm going to do 600 this year. Tell me you grew up with gay parents without telling me you grew up with gay parents. Part two. I'll go first. I didn't know drag racing involved cars till I was seven. My sneakers have pride flags on them. Health music is a spiritual thing. Trans people are heroes. I know bear weekend has nothing to do with animals. Excuse me? Madonna versus Beyonce starts an argument in our house. But a share song brings us together. It's Phil. I feel pity that, like, some people are not just supposed to be allowed to train a child, like, to be honest. Like, some people should not be allowed to train a child. Bro, are you, what do they expect from this child when he grows up thinking like that? This is heartbreaking, like, this is, this is disgusting. I know people get triggered when I say this, and I know we're in Idaho, which is a conservative state, but this sign is incorrect because feminine is an incorrect term. It's about gender expression, not even about biology or Where's parts. Audio? This should say menstrual. Sometimes I feel these guys are actually faking this to get likes and followers online, but like, bro, this can't be real. Like, this just can't be real. Say, Kamala. My five-year-old can say Kamala. Why can't people pronounce it correctly? You guys cannot be, well, maybe are dumber than a five-year-old. Whatever. How? Oh, like, seriously, like, see us as a black African man. Like, this is annoying. Like, this is annoying. Like, for me to see men acting this stupid just to make little cash online is heartbreaking. Like, bro. This is why you need your family. Like, this is why family check each other. Like, when you do something stupid, your family check you, but... Get ready with me to go to my grandma's funeral. This is pretty. And, like, she actually died the day after my birthday. And now I feel like every time... I'm not, I'm never going to be able to celebrate my birthday because I'm always going to remember that she died the day after and i didn't even celebrate in my birthday we were gonna go to raging water the day after and that's when my aunt called me tell me like yeah she died like yeah happy birthday okay i can't cry right now because this skincare is very expensive okay and this is really nice i need to save this the rest of the product for tomorrow it's okay, you know what? Everyone dies. And at least now she doesn't have to pay taxes. My mom just texted me that I'm late and I know my grandma's already dead so she wouldn't really care but my mom would so I can't be late. Now in honor of my grandma, I'm gonna use my exclusive Marc Jacob perfume because this is a special sad occasion. Guys, should I keep the jacket or no? Doesn't matter because I'm late. Adios. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> see these videos see they knock me out like i'm lost for words like this is heartbreaking i'm not gonna cry again my makeup is really expensive like what the thank god she died she does not have to pay taxes like see this how do people come up with this kind of clip and post it like how can you record something like this you could see this before posting it Bro. I was born gay. I was born trans. I was born in the wrong body. And I'm living my life. And I am becoming who I am. And I'm living my truth. When I decide to.
to do with my body. I don't care about your goddamn religion. I'm so tired of having nonstop conversations about what the Bible says. You live your life in the way that you interpret the Bible. Again, I don't care, but you don't get to take the Bible and tell me, well, the Bible says this in this chapter and this verse. I don't. She's saying she does not believe in the Bible is fine. I think the Bible is for everyone, but not everyone have to believe in it. And the Bible say, love one another. Like, see, that these are why some things happen in Christianity that we just look, we overlook it. But you can't do some certain things. You can't say some certain things about the Quran because you get backlash. You might even get. Imagine thinking that a man is going to make you happy. <laughs> I mean, I don't talk to my family. What? Uh, They're irrelevant. They're irrelevant? None of them have followers. If they got followers or got rich, I'd probably talk to them again. Now, hang on a minute. Did you just say I don't talk to my family because they don't have followers? If they had followers, they'd be here right now. You talk about your mother? I mean, my mom has more followers than my sister. It's your mother. What do you what, what difference she make? What do you care if she has followers or not? It's your mother. What, can anyone tell me like what I would talk to my mom about if she's not going to be making me relevant? <laughs> yeah, like hi, mom. Now I have a career and I'm famous. Like that's what happens when you get famous. You cut people off. Seriously? And everyone's upset with it, maybe because you guys aren't relevant either, so you don't understand. Yeah, I don't think he's famous because I don't know him, but like, bro, this is this is what happens when people give all this kind of Muppet audience online. Like people say rubbish online and you see they have millions of subscribers. Like it's heartbreaking because I honestly believe that they don't deserve it. Like if the content is not gonna promote love and like if it's not educative, I really don't see why you should be following that kind of person. Educative or entertaining. Because someone like him, I really don't understand what he's creating online to make him say things like he does not talk to his family. Like, this is heartbreaking, to be honest. I have obviously bitten off more than I can chew. No, you're good. No, no. Oh, you're doing great. Don't worry about it. You're a legend. <laughs> you're a legend. You. Come in. you came in guns blazing. You're doing great. <laughs> I tried. No, I really do appreciate the opportunity to be here. Wait, we got to get through at least no, all your notes. Nah, nah, nah. Hold on, hold on. Can this be a respectful quit? Wait, wait, you can't just I'm leave. Not, like, baby, don't, I'm not crying. I, I'm tired. That's you're why. You're tired? Yeah, I've been up since like three in the morning. Listen, I'm but I, at least hear no, hear the offer for i will fast so track much, no. i will fast track it's your notes i will fast you said it was a rage quit it's not. i think it was a rage quit oh, thank you so much i think it was a rage quit i think uh you can't defend your world for you i think you're a coward to be honest i think it's cowardly for you to quit because you've been absolutely demolished by andrew you did a great job andrew thank you <laughs> but can we look at the bright the side she took up a lot of space on that side of the like, table now there's room talk you can't rage your a lot of space conversationally yeah conversation said if i I want to dictate how it should end. Girls like that. She belongs to the streets.